Hi everyone, welcome back. It's great to have you here. Okay, so I'm using these four colours to do a marble and swipe creation today. I'm using a 16 by 12 inch canvas. My palette today is copper, pink, blue green and burgundy. So a bit different to what I've used before. I love these colours and I just wanted to see what kind of combination they would create by using this kind of technique. So let's see what we can create. So as I puddle each of these paints on the canvas, I'm taking one colour, one at a time, and puddling them directly in the middle. I do this because when I stretch out, the paint that I have all in the middle will stretch out to the edges and over the edges anyway, and that minimises any waste. Now, I wouldn't normally put all of these colours together, but I thought what fun to explore and experiment putting all various colours together in one colour palette, just to see if they're going to work well together. I'm trying to envisage what kind of colours I want as a main focal point and I really want the copper to play a big part in this piece. So that's why I've almost put four different puddles of copper. I also love the burgundy and I know the contrast of the burgundy and the pink will work really well together. So I'm not puddling the burgundy around the edge. As you can see, I'm almost forming a square. And I'm going to add a puddle on top of a puddle on top of a puddle. So we can just see how different those colours will infuse and work well together. Especially when I drop my marble in the centre of this piece and swirl it around to create all those different lines. So I want to add a little bit of lacing into this design. So I'm going to use the swipe method. I've got Australian Floetrol and Titanium White mixed as my swipe formula. One part paint to three parts Australian Floetrol. And as you can see, as I place my palette knife on the surface of the paint, I just swipe across gently. I don't apply too much pressure. I like it to glide across the paint. I'm not necessarily looking to move a lot of the paint within that swipe. I'm looking to rest that liquid formula on top of the paint and swipe through to help create those cells and lacing. So as I press down, it's not too hard and I'm just helping the paint and the palette knife glide together. Okay, so it's now time for me to get my marble and I'm going to drop it directly in the center of the creation. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my canvas and I'm going to gently just move the canvas by tilting it to help move that marble. Now the thickness of the paint on the surface already will help slow down that marble from rolling all over the place. So it will help you guide the marble to where you want it. And as you can see, as I'm swirling the marble around the creation, it's infusing those puddles of paint and creating such gorgeous lines. And for this piece, it's the lines I really want to focus on. I'm not too worried whether I lose most of that lacing, I've got to be honest. Those lines that I can see directly in the middle is going to be my focal point. And it's this kind of area that I'm going to stretch out. And all those lines that are together is something that I want to really focus on. So 
So one thing that I would encourage or kind of share that helps with me and my approach is I don't want to rush this. I just want to fan the creation out a little bit to cover the base of the canvas and then I'm going to take each edge in turn and I'm going to push the creation and the paint to the edges and down the sides and I'm going to reflect and I'm going to stand back and really look at the creation on top. And this is the time when the creation really takes form and you don't want to rush it because you're going to look at the composition, you're going to look at the overall design. Now, I am losing a fair bit of the lacing that I created using the swipe, but that is totally okay because when I looked after I'd used the marble and saw all those gorgeous lines, I knew it was the lines I really wanted to focus on in this design. That block colour and those lines together will really create a feeling of movement within this piece. So as I look at the composition, I will keep turning the canvas around, having a look and then tilting it to each edge. You'll see that I do a number of times move the paint back on in itself. That's just to allow me to not waste so much paint and to allow more paint to be moved on the surface of the canvas. So I really want to just bring that bit more forward. So I'm just tilting it forward towards me to allow more of that paint to come off over the edge and down the sides. And that will give a really good finish on the sides as well to show a continual line from the surface to the side. So let's go in for a closer look at the wet version now. And I just love these colours. Just four colours within the colour palette. The blue green by Pebio the copper, the pink, and the burgundy. And infused together, they've made a really good color palette. And this is definitely one that I'm gonna work with again. And I really wanted that copper to be the focal point, And I'm really pleased with the curves and the bright lines that have been created. I really do love this one. And I love how the lines have continued over the side. As I said before, I've lost a fair bit of my lacing, but that is totally okay. There's still a hint of it in there, but I think that really adds to the lines and almost kind of illustrates the lines and the block colour. So I'm really happy with this one. So before I show you the dried version, let me know in the comments below if you're attempting this technique and what colours you're experimenting with and playing around with. Because sometimes when we add colours together that we don't normally associate with each other, we're surprised with the outcome. Okay, so here's the dry version. I'm proud to say that it dried really, really well. I've also applied a gloss varnish to this. So I always apply a spray varnish. I use a Winsor & Newton. It's a high gloss varnish and that just puts a really nice shine on the piece. And those lines and the vibrancy of those lines really shine through in this piece, which I absolutely love. I love the curves and the curvage of the copper and the bright lines that almost kind of shimmer through those copper curves. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I hope you've had fun. And I hope to see you again soon. And remember, if you're doing this, let me know how you're getting on because I'd love to hear what you're creating and what colour palettes you're also using yourself. Have a great week, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Bye.